come together and uh, help Kingster f- launch a successful Kickstarter, hopefully. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Welcome, heroes and villains, to Fajuk's Roundtable Discussion. Today we have Anthony, Michael, and Joris joining Fajuk with special guest Sean, also known on Twitch as Kingster, who is going to be pitching a business idea of his to the table. Hello, hello, everybody. Good afternoon, all. Uh, a little bit more about this idea. The business idea, um, known as Orbis, is looking to be the first all-in-one uh, game streaming service that hosts multiple platforms and their respected streamers in one ecosystem. So think of this as the Netflix or Spotify of the game streaming world where for viewers' sake, it, um, viewers can access Orbis and access all these different platforms in one place to watch and support the streamers that they, you know, they enjoy watching um, in one place instead of having to hop across different applications. That is uh, predominantly the core offering that Orbis is trying to uh, offer. Why do you think this idea needs to uh, happen? Like, what drove you to that point where you're like, this is, a ne- this is a need that needs to be filled? Okay, yeah, that's a really good question. So um, I believe, uh, especially from uh, recent history, if you want to call it that, only last year or so, the fact of some platforms, for instance, um, shutting down and so on, uh, you got to think how many streamers were relying on this platform to make a name for you know to make business to to, to do something with it, um, and the fact that uh, it shut down or some as a few that have shut down, but everyone seems to be oversaturated on Twitch, YouTube gaming, and Facebook gaming are somewhat finding their way, I believe, um, amongst many other platforms that are a lot more. Um, less saturated but you know in the presence it's there but the thing is is orbis looks to focus on benefiting the viewer and the streamer because looking to improve the experiences as a viewer or the streamer that is what benefits the platform because the streamer represents the platform and provides the content and the viewer See, views the content and supports the streamer, which is just a, a huge circle of support in itself. Um, so, yeah, the core fundamental is in Orbis is to focus on the streamer and viewer. So, as I said, with the viewer, um, I've had some friends, for instance, that do enjoy watching game streaming and they'll have their break time at work and so on. And that as soon as they finally sit down, as we all know, Break time at work, it goes very quickly. You think, oh, great, I've got half an hour, 15 minutes, what, whatever it is. And by the time you sat down and you just got your cup of tea, 20 minutes have passed. You're like, what? <laughs> um, but I know uh, a couple of friends who do enjoy watching game streaming. And I know a few, they, they have to, as soon as they sit down, they have to hop around these different applications. So just say like Twitch, Facebook Gaming, and YouTube. They, they cycle through them quickly to see who's online and who's streaming what and having to get used to the different uh, interfaces and so on just to find simply someone that they want to watch and support. Um, and it just sort of tries to solve that inconvenience uh, among many others that are in uh, the works as such that they can just log into this one place and see who's online and then just you know choose to watch from there. Um, in terms of the streamer, because of the oversaturation on Twitch and a few other platforms as such, but mostly Twitch, is it's hard for a streamer to find their audience just as much as it's hard for the viewers to find maybe the content they're looking for. Just allowing as such a spread with these different platforms in one place will just enable better opportunities for streamers to find their audiences. And as I said, vice versa for the audiences to find the streamer. And then going back to what I said, as soon as you make that connection between both and satisfy both viewer and streamer, 
the platform then benefits because that is, you know, everyone is now happy. With all these different streaming platforms uh, which have big corporations behind them, how, what's the legality of doing this type of thing? Uh, so what I'm doing right now it's actually legal I I've looked into the uh, terms of services and use and all of that and what I'm doing right now is actually completely legal there are a few factors to consider which I have in my uh, venture and yeah from what I've read there's no issue whatsoever to simply answer that question to in terms of legalities of it i think that's a word um is basically don't uh, falsely claim something so as such say say if you guys were streaming on twitch and i put you on my website and i said yeah look this is content that i own and it you know that's for instance one of the things that breaks uh, the uh, some of the rights but basically, to be transparent and clear in terms of the credentials of who, you know, who deserves what uh, respects and be very clear with that and do not lie. That's literally um, to sum up uh, how to abide by those um, rules. Part of like the game streaming thing. Would you create like your own type of a streamer, like streaming service? for like orbis yeah, it is a thing on the boards i uh, it is a thing for consideration because of um so like you, you look at like netflix for instance netflix now and for a couple years now they've got netflix exclusives you know um and that came you know so that it's a product they make within themselves to uh I guess just improves the value of what Netflix is, but I think also improves the relationship between the consumer and uh, Netflix themselves because the stuff that they're making is obviously has got to be targeted to the people that watch the content on Netflix. And it is definitely something that we would consider on all this because once again, it's, it's, encouraging um an industry that i'm really passionate about uh the only issue maybe that will come up with that but there's one thing i would like to make clear across this is that i do not want to have any unbiasedness or anything uh, against the other platforms or anything i want it to literally be a level playing field for every platform um and basically allow the streamers, the, the people who are representing that platform, to be the, the value of, what that pla of, of that platform. Because without the streamers, the platform's nothing. But it's the streamers that adds the value. And that's why I would want uh, to just make it a level playing field to enable streamers to make the value of the platforms. So going, sorry, so, so going back to your question, it's uh, it's up for consideration, but as I said, if if I ever do go forward to uh, such maybe make um, an Orbis streaming platform, it would be done. It would be in the same category as all the other streaming platforms. It would not be uh, put as a priority or wouldn't receive extra privilege on this service. Okay. Assuming it's a working template, uh, your Orbis.tv uh, site, um, it's very interesting uh, because you do have the randomizer and the possibility of you know adding in Twitch, Facebook gaming, YouTube gaming, uh, but you're not limited to what you would be able to post on this or stream on the, off of this site, correct? do look into the future of just focusing on game streaming. We want to be the place that when viewers or streamers um, or even plat people who are thinking of making their own platforms, we want to be the place that you go, yes, that's where you go for game streaming. We don't want to host every content creator or streamer because uh, I think it would be... 
a bit too messy, I, I think. I, I think it's just nice to focus on game stream because the content is literally uh, endless. You can have competitive gaming, comical gaming. I think just in terms of uh, people knowing what Orbis is, as a game streaming uh, service and support. So just a follow-up question. So I know right now, uh, as this is not... Well, I guess this website's live, but are, are the links functional? Last year, I was actually looking to publicly release it. However, that's when Mixer shut down. And at the time, I could actually code in mixer streamers twitch streamers and another platform called smashcast and i could have all three platforms on this website hosting um streamers from each one however literally as soon um as i was considering publicly releasing it mixer shut down i was like right this is now sort of like a knockoff twitch website that sort of took the wind out my sails and then after a bit of time of working on this and working on my game streaming to try and develop a community to ready to promote this to because anyone who is in this industry they are the best judges in terms of you know is this thing actually something that people want is this actually you know is this something that people uh, can see using fast forward to now um today i've been messing around with code and right as of now i can code in twitch streamers onto my platform so if uh and i'm soon i'm st still in the work in progress because i think at this time i'm going to allow uh, a request a request streamer option uh which will allow anyone to access my website see uh the request and they can request a twitch streamer at the time uh I said I and I need to look into the other ones, but that there'll be a later in the date. But I'm going to get these Twitch ones out first. Um, you can request any Twitch streamer, and sort of doing what Orbis wants to do. It wants to, you know, uh, show the values that we want to help viewers and streamers. So in terms of like a tangible product, the weakest part in terms is the offerings, I guess, because. We don't have an official associational partnership. However, gaining a following and the interest to show people our vision of Orbis is really what we're focused on now because the support, like we all seen the power of social media and followings and all of that is what gets the attention, especially from like the big corporations. And going back to uh, the question of like the legalities and stuff we made it very clear uh, and abide everything that we've made uh, to those rules and yeah so we will be soon putting up twitch streamers on our platform on orbis so you've explained what orbis is and what your plans are for orbis i just have one question how does you pitch this as a business all businesses yeah. need to make money. How, is, how does Orbis make money? That's a really good question. Um, I, one thing it uh, tends to make, especially like the beginning of social media, engagement is always a good start because if people uh, are using a product, um, you know, that, that, that shows that there is an interest, there is a demand for it. But, and I'm a bit skeptical about advertisement at the moment, but one thing for sure in terms of uh, revenue, we do look to offer just a subscription fee, just like you get on Spotify um, and Netflix, um, just a, a monthly subscription to, yeah, to allow people to find content and just access the whole thing. That would be, I, from to my knowledge at the moment, because... I said with the whole advertisement thing, I'm not too sure with that. Um, it's obviously a term of revenue stream, but I think, for, well, for sure, I would like to see a subscription um, service with it. So just a monthly fee. Not sure how much. Uh, I would imagine it would be no more, if anything, maybe less than the Netflix and Spotify. Um, 
yeah, subscription service. That is that would be our main revenue stream, or I believe would be the best as well in terms of uh, the viewer and streamer experience. So during like the whole development thing, w- will it just be you working on it, or will you get a team? Will you try to hire people? Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people would be interested in like getting into that type of business. Oh wow! Yeah. Um. So yeah, right now as such it, it's been predominantly just me um i've had help from uh the uh as a group at the university that i graduated from um i guess i'll give them a quick shout out it's the, at, so at the university of surrey um they are enterprise and basically they are a fantastic group uh or team that help um graduates and students develop a business plan and so on and you know try and make it a reality and really just challenge it you know just a really good um level of support and from then they they've been really good in terms of yeah to be in that support you need uh they've also helped fund some of the things they've received funding i think it was this last year actually would a team or anything um crop up it's absolutely something um i have open doors to um if people do have the skill sets in terms of um like advanced coding um or maybe like uh, a huge following on streaming, anything like that. Like the doors are open, you know. Once you have the uh, basics set, what would be your next step for orbits? What's the? How are you going to push the envelope even further? What- Let's see. So one of the advantages so this is this is um i guess an exclusive so we'll call it this um one of the benefits of having an ecosystem where it's all dedicated into one place the advantage that brings in specifically to streamers is that platforms can actually see the level of success and the information that uh, that streamer is achieving. From that, I think it would enable platforms to actually offer more contracts more uh, confidently and uh, more appropriately as well to all to loads of streamers that actually deserve it. Um, and just enable business from that. Uh, so, th- so the purpose of why I called it Orbis, for instance, is that I've actually named it as such as after a planet because that's what I sort of envision that this industry needs. Um, instead of all this diversion as such of, oh, you have to go to this platform to watch this guy because he has an exclusive contract. And then, oh, I've, you know, you've got to hop through the different applications. Could you imagine if you had to do that with TV? So it's sort of reinventing TV in that way, because instead of like a broadcaster, um, a program and a TV show, it's going to be Orbis streaming platform and streamer. Um, and just like with TV, it, there's you know they're there in the same universe and it provides it provides the viewer the uh access and ease to just scroll through the channels and watch the content whatever catches their eye and that's exactly what we're trying to do here um and yeah it would be constantly just focusing on maximizing the viewership and Streamer success as well, um, trying to find their communities because there's a community of, you know, there's some that are obviously bigger than others, but it's still a community. And especially in the world of this digital age, even if it's a a smaller number to another, it's still a community. And that community still shares uh, values and interests and everything like that. And there's, you know, just opportunity even there. So it's really just bringing everything together. That is the ongoing goal um, down the line.
Netflix, but it's not like Netflix or Disney Plus, because Netflix and Disney Plus and Hulu and all those streaming sources have exclusive things that you need to pay each different service to do. You're trying to be the exact opposite of that by the sounds of it. Spotify, for instance. D Disney and all of that, they host, um, they have their own content. So uh, we'll stick with the uh, music industry. So for Spotify. Could you imagine that instead of Spotify, where you can access the huge list of uh, music from every genre, could you imagine having to download about five or six different applications because of the different production companies? You know, so you'll go, oh, I like this band, but this is this production company. So I've got to go and go into that app to listen to that music. And then, oh, I like this band, so I'm going to have to go into the other app to listen to that music. Um, it, and once again, it, it goes against as such uh, the user experience because then you couldn't have like a playlist, you know, your custom playlist that has the mixture of songs that you want to make it. Um, uh, how do you think you can attract uh, people to the product? Like, what... Obviously, you you have your you have your business model. You have your uh, you have the ideas there. What's gonna? How are you gonna get the message out to people? What's the what's the marketing platform? What's the uh, what's the drive there? Are yes, you gonna? Uh, oh, sorry, Karen. Oh, and, and then finally, do you have? Would you? Uh, do you think you could talk to any of the larger streamers and maybe get your service out there as well? Yes. Yeah, so that, that's a really good question. So. Um, uh, it's only, as said, been recently released, and the only people who know about it in terms of real life are close friends and family at the moment. So just receiving feedback and making uh, adjustments uh, from that, and also anyone that I meet online. So you guys right here, and anyone who pops into my streams, or anyone who pops onto the website out of blind luck. Right now, um, that's sort of the engagement I'm dealing with because uh so let's put it um so don't sort of put that so like like a beta test in a way sort of giving a small group of people a chance to look at it give feedback and all of that then based upon that feedback anything that comes across is quite consistent so there was one topic in particular that came across quite consistent is that quite uh i majority of people who access my site they were quite confused that they clicked on a streamer and nothing loaded up it said page error and so on and if you read carefully i did say like um to some of them like platform unavailable but i also thought that the generic uh streaming logo along with streamer 21 might have been enough maybe to just make people think oh that's just a generic like understanding of maybe what he's trying to offer but um from a lot of people's feedback they didn't actually quite grasp it um so obviously that's something i need to fix because if if i mass market at this that means more people are going to come back with the same reaction of going i don't get it you know it's not working it's crap um so yeah, right now it's just like adjusting that. So that's why I've looked into the adding the Twitch streamers in because now when people, well, soon when people come on, they're actually going to be streamers who want to, um, you know, who, who are actually available to watch and not just a generic thing. Um, once that's pretty much the main issue that came across all of them. Once that's resolved, that's when I'm going to look to really mass market at this because that means that issue is now not going to come up. You know, people are going to go, I'm clicking on things, it's not working. Um, and then, yeah, from then, and then if fortunate enough with the content creating PC, um, through YouTube videos and many other social medias, my game streaming, anyone I come in contact with um, or any content I make, I will try and promote Orbis. And then, um, yeah, the, the, as I said, like, uh, if, I'm, I might reach out to some of these big streamers. Well, I will uh, give it a go. And yeah, just try and um, attract that attention because at the end of the day, everyone in this industry, uh, you know, who enjoys watching content or creating content, 
you guys are the best judges for this. You know exactly, you know, because you make or you uh, watch the content and through all the experiences and knowledge that we have of this industry, that makes every single one, uh, one of the people part of it the best judges in terms of going, no, nope, or this is uh, crap, or yes, or this is something I can see uh, watching on my TV or my iPhone. Before I get to my final question, Joris, you actually stream video games. Does this sound appealing to you at all? Uh, I mean, yeah, that's uh, perfect for what I want to do. Um, at the beginning, I used to stream on YouTube, and I've recently switched to Twitch. So it pretty much, for anyone who wants to easily go through that, if I ever have like issues with one stream platform and I want to switch to the other, then that's perfect. You're still in the beta. Why did you decide to launch a Kickstarter now? This is my final question. So, it's yeah, it's interesting with the uh, Kickstarter because I've been uh, sort of thinking that myself. Um, I think it's going back to the question of the whole marketing thing. It's now on Kickstarter. You know, if that brings in one more person to look at my site, then I'm happy with that because that's now, as I said, just brought in one more person to go, oh, yeah, I quite like that. Um, so, yeah, fundamentally, the goal is there to uh, raise £800 to sustain the website and the present services for a year. But... Um, I think it's also set myself up a little challenge because, as you said, right now it's a beta. It, it's, I, I'm still somewhat working on it. But I've kept this idea under the wraps for up and coming to about two years now. But I made the website last year, uh, actually this time last year. And I think in terms of that secrecy i think it uh, it, well, it did somewhat make a, a negative impact because there was only so much i could do and so much like provide um just you know from one perspective and i thought well everything that i've got now it, it shows uh work and it shows a vision and with, with my game stream platform stuff now as well it's just a great way to just reach out to the people, especially uh, the community and so on, and say, look, I'm actually creating uh, original content or something. You know, something um, I personally, well, most, um, sure, most people strive for is to make original content and so on. I thought, you know what, I'm actually really proud of what I've done. And just opening up to the community and to you guys and hearing that feedback. So, for instance, again, with the whole... Uh, uh issue as such that people are not understanding the generic streamer and just it's just an example i wouldn't have got that feedback if well i would have got that feedback if i just pushed it out there but i would have had say you know 200 people complaining about it other than maybe two people complaining about it if you see what i mean um so yeah, and I think as well with the Kickstarter, I think it's had a little bit of excitement as well in terms of me working on it. It's like, I wonder if I could try and perfect the issues that are arising and see if I can, uh, you know, get the interest um, from people to go, oh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to uh, support that. So, um, yeah, it's sort of a mixture of things, but I have been also quite, uh, to a degree, a little part of me thinking, why did I do the Kickstarter? But yeah, for the reasons of like the marketing um, and just setting a, a somewhat maybe like a challenge to myself for just saying, I wonder if I could, you know, um, attract the attention um, and gain the interest of people going, oh, he's, he's actually fixed that or work that or whatever. And yeah, so... Yeah, sort of mixed reason for the Kickstarter, I guess, but um, also very important in terms of uh, keeping it operating in terms of funding. Oh, I hope everyone listening to this checks out either the Kickstarter and or the website in the description, and we'll s I'll and I will be in the next video, and Anthony and Michael might be there too because they're in my videos quite often. Anyways, we'll s I'll see you next time. 
Thanks again for having me on. And Kingster, the best of luck with your Kickstarter and uh, your future endeavors. I hope you all have a great time. Thank you, everyone. Um, yeah, fantastic questions and fantastic opportunities. Thank you for having me here. It's been uh, a real delight. And um, yeah, thank you for the good luck wishes. And I hope everyone else's um, uh, journey goes well, too.